2019, 10 a.m., Commissioner's Courtroom at the County Administration Building, 200 South Texas Avenue, Suite 106. First item on the agenda is invocation of Pledge of Allegiance to the U.S. Texas flag. Commissioner Baird will lead those. Please bow. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your abundant blessings that you bestow upon us. Thank you for this beautiful day. Please be mindful and uh, that our work today will be pleasing to you and that we will do our best to uh, keep in mind the duties before us as we uh, do the work for the citizens of Brazos County. Please also keep a watchful out for our first responders and military men and women overseas and at home whose work allows us to have the freedoms we enjoy. We ask all this in your name. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Thank you, Commissioner. <coughs> Second item on the agenda is call for citizens' input and our concerns. Hearing none, we will go to number three is presentation and discussions. Uh, first is the presentation of uh, Proclamation 19-037 declaring the month of December 2019 as National Influenza Vaccination Month. I move approval. Second. Motion Having made. experienced that all month. <laughs> You had not you had the flu yet, have you? <laughs> well, they want, I say it's the flu. It was three days after the flu shot, oh. the, the super shot, okay. and it lasted for four weeks. <laughs> well, if you didn't have the super shot, it would have lasted six. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? A motion carries. Sir? Motion and then we'll take pictures. <clears throat> Whereas Brassett County Health District recognizes December of 2019 as the National Influenza Vaccination Month, and whereas Brassett County Health District wants to remind the citizens of Brassett County that even though the holiday season has become begun, it's not too late to get a flu vaccine. <clears throat> and whereas the yearly flu vaccine is recommended for everyone six months old and older, and Whereas most people who get the flu will recover in a few days or less than two weeks, but some people will develop serious flu complications such as pneumonia, bacterial infection, hospitalization, and even death. And whereas people at high risk of serious flu complications include young children, pregnant women, people with certain chronic health conditions like asthma, diabetes, heart disease, or lung disease, and people 65 years and older, and whereas getting vaccinated yourself may also protect the people around you, including those who are most vulnerable for the serious flu illness, <clears throat> like babies and young children, older people, and people with certain chronic health conditions. Now, therefore, I, Dwayne Peters, Brazos County Judge of Brazos County, is, mm -hmm. is acting on behalf of our representative commissions to hereby proclaim the month of December 2019 as National Influenza Vaccination, Vaccination Month and call upon the citizens of Brazos County to observe the month by getting vaccinated to fight the flu. So as the Brazos County Health District, we do encourage everyone to get their flu vaccine. Um, it does not get you sick. Uh, so most people think that they don't <laughs> want to get it because it'll get them sick, um, but it actually is protecting you. And if you do get the, the flu with, if you've already had the vaccine, then um, as Commissioner Barry said, it just, it doesn't last as long. Um, so vaccination is the number one way to prevent getting the flu. So this afternoon there at the health district from two to 5.30, we're offering free flu vaccines for adults 18 and over. So if you haven't gotten it already come by and see us. Thank you, Judge and Commissioners. And go get okay. did, did somebody want to take pictures? Yes. No.
Okay, and the next is uh, recognizing the appointment of Jodan Warren as the first full-time paid fire chief of Brass County by ESD uh, Precinct 4. Uh, and I think we're going to do a swearing ceremony, so Great. come on up and... signing as commissioner of precinct four I'd like to say sir you have set the standards very high and we're very proud to have you, Thank you. as our first paid fire chief Thank you. Thank you. Chiefs of College Station, Brian Fire Department, and the County Fire Departments for the help and assistance and the knowledge y'all been giving me. Thank y'all very much. Thank you. All right, we will move on to uh, consider take action on agenda items 4 through 21. Uh, anybody that needs to leave is welcome to. You want to stay? You're welcome to stay. Thank you, sir. Please, anytime you call me, I'll come to you. How's it going? How's the everything going? I I know, I know. We need to talk. Okay, um, we'll consider and take action on agenda items for 4 through 21. Number four is appointment and reappointment of the following ESD board, District 2, uh, term of appointment uh, January 1, 2020 to December 31, 2021. Move approval A and B. Second. Motion made second to approve A and B. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Nine motion carries. <clears throat> Number five is requesting approval of precinct three for acceptance of cash donations of $250 to the K-9 unit. Move approval. Second. Motion made seconded, and that's constable of precinct three. Uh, discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Nine motion carries. Number nine is approval of nonprofit organization application for the Brazos County inmate work crew labor to clean fire station number one on Fazina Lane. Move approval. Second. 
is that precinct one or precinct four? Fazina Lane. There's a Fazina Lane out on in precinct four. But that I am very you know, proud to say four. that's four. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So I precinct four. So I'll rephrase that that that's going to be in precinct four. Well, it's station one. Though. I know what it says, but that's not correct. I don't oh, think there's a Fazina okay. Lane in four. I mean, in one, there's there's Fazina Lane in in four. Right. Right. Station one, John. Yeah. It's my understanding that it's precinct four, station one. That's exactly. Okay. That's what I was sharing. Okay. You, you spoke it correctly. Right. Okay. It's just you didn't add precinct you got four. It. That's right. So it is their station, station number one. one. Okay. Um, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Not motion carries. Number seven is a request from the Elections Administration for the payment authorization of Texas Voting Systems, Inc in the amount of 35000 for the election services. November 2019 election purchase order was not obtained in advance. Move approval. Second. Most made second in discussion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? None motion carries. Number eight is request from facility services for payment authorization to Kesco Supply Inc. in the amount of $134.05 for cleaning supplies. The amount exceeded the balance that was left on the open purchase order. Move approval. Second. Motion made second. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Number nine is approval of change of 10 vehicles from Dodge Chargers to Ford Explorers that were approved in the FY20 capital. Dodge no longer be making the 2020 uh, V8 rear wheel drive police pursuit Dodge Charger. The estimated difference is uh, eighty-six ninety per vehicle, a total of eighty-six thousand nine hundred dollars. Second. Motion made. Second. The discussion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed. None. Motion carries. Number ten is permission to advertise for bid twenty dash zero eight zero various aggregates, coal mix, and other road materials. Move. Move. Second. Motion made. Second. The discussion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? None motion carries. Number 11 is permission to advertise for an auction of surplus property. Move approval. Second. Motion made second. The discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? None motion carries. Number 12 is award bid 20-075 asphalt oils and motions. Recommended award is Cleveland Asphalt Products Lines 1 and 3 and Ergon Asphalt and Emulsions Line 2. Move approval. Second. Motion made second. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? None. Motion carries. Number 13 is approval of amendment number one to contract 20 uh, 58 copier maintenance with Xerox Business Solutions Southwest to add one additional copy, copier machine to the Sheriff's Office uh, Jail Booking Department. Move approval. Second. Motion made second. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? None motion carries. Number 14 is requesting approval of the amendment of the school resource deputy interlocal agreement between Brazos County and the College Station Independent School District originally entered to uh, February 28, 2017. Move approval. Second. Motion made second. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? None motion carries. Number 15 is expenditure journal entries FY 19-20. 110073 through 110079. Second. Motion made second. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? None motion carries. Uh, <clears throat> number 16 is final plat of Don Doan subdivision block one, lot one being 5.568 acres, uh, Avner Lee Jr. survey, a31, City of Bryan, ETJ, Brazos County, Texas, sites located in Precinct 2. Move approval. Second. Motion made second. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? None motion carries. Uh, number 17 is budget amendments. Budget amendments FY 19 slash 20, 10.1 through 10.4. Move approval. Second. Motion made second. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? None motion carries. Number 18 is personnel change status. Move approval. Second. Motion made second. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? None motion carries. Number 19 is payment of claims. Claims to be paid by Brazos County. Claim number 80211. No. 
let me start over, 8021336 through claim number 8021494. Move approval. Second. Motion made and seconded. Discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Nine motion carries. Number 22 is, uh, we'll skip down to number 22, is an acknowledgement of GFOA's Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in Financial Reporting. Uh, I looked at that, I thought. Did Katie get that? I don't, I don't see it. That works, yes. Congratulations to Katie yep. and the uh, auditing uh, department for their excellence. Yep. And number 23 is juvenile's report, uh, okay. director's report on detention population. Good morning, everyone. Ms. Richardson's out of the office today, so she hasn't been stepped in. My name is Todd McKee. I'm one of the deputy directors of juvenile services. Currently, we have 27 youth in the detention center, 21 males, 6 females. We have 22 youth on GPS monitor with 7 monitors available. Okay, thank you. Uh, number 24, Sheriff's sure, report on inmate population. Sure. Judge, commissioners, good morning. 632 okay. with uh, 546 males, 86 females. We have uh, 52 on the electronic monitors and 11 are pending. Thank you. Thanks, Sheriff. Sure. Uh, number 25 is an announcement of interest items and possible future agenda topics. Uh, you know, we have added a new officer today to the, the uh, truancy, the school patrol, you know, uh, the action we took today. Uh -huh. I think we should uh, have a report on how that program is progressing and you know, what the differences we see <coughs> maybe in a presentation. Yeah, we can do that. I'm, um, I'm sure. Yeah. I think that would be of interest to the public and uh, juvenile probation. Yeah, we'll put it on the agenda for something if y'all want to uh, kind of give us an update of how the program's going, that kind of stuff. We can do that in the future. After the Next week year. or two? Yeah, maybe. after the first of the or year. after the first of the year. We can't put any more on the agenda. Okay. All right. Um, and any other announcement of future agenda topics? Any call for citizen input and or concern? Hearing none, we'll go back up to number 20 and convene an executive session pursuant to Texas Government Code 551.0725 to deliberate business and financial issues related to a contract being negotiated. Uh, 1022. 1022. Judge, I filed a letter with the court, uh, the original of this letter. As you're proposing to deliberate the negotiations of a contract related to contracting for professional services, and you wish to deliberate the business and financial issues of those contract negotiations, Texas Government Code 551.0725. Provides that the court may deliberate the business and financial issues of this contract in closed session. If before conducting the closed meeting, the court votes unanimously, the deliberation and open meeting will have a detrimental effect on the position of the court in negotiations with the third person. And the attorney advised the commission court issued the written determination that deliberation in an open meeting would have a detrimental effect on the position of the commission's court in negotiations with the third person. And three, notwithstanding section 551. <coughs> Point 103A of the government code, the commissioner's court must make a date reporting of the proceedings of a closed meeting to deliberate the information. I believe Ms. Kaufman's ready to do that, and uh, it is my determination that deliberation in an open meeting would have a detrimental effect on the position of the court in negotiations with a third person, and I signed that and dated it today. Thank you. Just in case we need a motion that uh, we would yep. find it detrimental. I so move. Okay. Second. Motion made and seconded. Discussion? All in favor, raise your right hand. Uh, no opposition, so it's unanimous. Uh, it's 1024. Uh, you ready, Cheryl? Yes, sir. 
Okay, we're coming back out of executive session. It's 1046. No action to be taken, and we'll adjourn. Thank you.